You ready? Yes, sir. All in there for good measure. Hey, hey good man. to see you, my brother. Man, thank you for having me. I'm here with Mr. Tony Ray, and I can say this honestly, one of my most famous musicians on the entire planet. <laughs> and you're here with me in the cabin. And and this is your first... To say. Oh, no, whatever. <laughs> this is your first time here in the cabin. Yes, sir. And uh, I can't wait for folks to see this lesson, because we're, we're talking about just, just one of the small parts of what makes you one of my favorite musicians, and that's your guitar rhythm. And that's what we just observed there with that Salt Creek is some of the things that you like to do. Yes, sir. So what we're going to do today, we're going to talk about your rhythm patterns, a lot of the licks that you like to use, mm -hmm. maybe some of the substitute chords that you tend to go to. Yes, sir. So that way you don't get bored. That way you don't get bored. <laughs> and, and also really serve up some, some good foundation for people yeah, I'm absolutely. Playing. Absolutely. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Yes, sir. If y'all are watching on Facebook or YouTube, here in a moment, I'll ask you to come over to the website, BanjoBenClark.com. You can join us at Go Pick members, see this entire lesson. We're really going to get into this, this stuff good. If you're watching here on the site as a Go Pick member, you have everything you need here on this page. Just scroll down and see the rest of the video lessons. Mr. Tony, I've, I've known you for a long time. I've actually known you longer than you've known me. I'll, <laughs> I'll explain that. When I first moved to town, one of my favorite things to do was to go down to the Opry Mills Mall and they had the bluegrass showcase down there where they were finishing out the mandolins and banjos and things. And I would go down there and just my jaw would drop and I'd look at these Ricky Skaggs master model mandolins. Oh, and, yeah. and you were there in the, uh, in the banjo aquarium. Is that what y'all call it? <laughs> That's what they call it. <laughs> yeah. yes. And you would be finishing the banjos. And um, man, I didn't know anybody. I just moved to town, but I introduced myself to her and just said hello. And you were so nice. You just took a few minutes to show me what you did. A little bit about the the place now. You don't remember that, of I course. That the next time I really met you, you remember that is when I came down and I'd been playing for Taylor and I was getting ready. I mm -hmm. think for an award show or something. Yeah, right? you were, and, and you needed. Um, if I remember right, you were getting ready to endorse Gibson. That's right. At that point. Yeah, and uh, I had built a banjo. Yes, you. and actually the banjo that we played at the top of this lesson right. is the one that you built for me. Yeah, which is, I mean, it's so neat seeing it full circle. The first thing I want to do, Tony, is talk about your right hand rhythm pattern yes, sir. and how that may vary in different situations. But give us just a, a quick rundown of, you know, a, a song, a tempo like Salt Creek, like we started out with, okay. what your approach would be there, and then we'll slow it down. It, um, you know, it's so hard to explain rhythm. Right. But I'll try my best. Yeah, man. <laughs> you know, um, first off, you know, I want, want it to sound solid and I want it to sound as full as I can. Mm -hmm. um, I hold my pick a little bit different than other folks, mm -hmm. but my approach to that is just try to drive it as much as I can. You mm -hmm. know, so if we're starting off, it's this. down to the most basic segments that we can. Yes, sir. So pull the embellishments out. Yes, sir. And um, let's just slowly do the, the bass strum uh, movements that you were doing there. Okay. And uh, I'll just hold the one chord. Yeah, man. We'll just Perfect. do it. It's almost like stirring soup. I got you. you. Know? So you're playing, uh, you're 
you're playing a, a, the bass note on the one. Uh huh. Sometimes. <laughs> and, and <laughs> yeah. You're strumming two and. Yeah. And you're going to the five of the chord. Yes, sir. D string. Uh huh. And you're doing a. So on the third beat, three and, you're doing some single note type stuff. I am. Yeah. Okay. And if you notice on my downstroke, sometimes I'll use the pick, sometimes I use my fingers. Going down through the strings? Yeah. Wow. So you're using your fingers there? Yeah. I'll go in between it, and it allows for dynamics. So if you have somebody playing lead, I'll use my fingers more. Ah. But then when you're going into somebody, you know, starting off the break, and you really want to embellish that, right. I'll use the pick. Wow, okay. So if, uh, say, if somebody's playing lead, then somebody comes in. Now you Ah, so now, but your upstroke on the strums, whenever you're using your fingers. Yes, sir. Do you do an up with your fingers or up I with don't. a pick? Up with a pick. Okay, yeah, so that real way. slowly show that. Sure. You know, I've noticed in, uh, whenever I'm playing rhythm that my fingertips will they'll gravitate towards wanting to play the strings a little bit. Yeah. And I've, I've often wondered, should I try to stay away from that or should I start incorporating it? You know, it's whatever you're most comfortable with. That's mm -hmm. anything I've ever taught or I've talked to, to folks about. <clears throat> However you're comfortable, do it that way. There's right. no wrong way. Right. You know, somebody started out playing guitar that way, and, you know, they learned from that, and then somebody broke off. And mm -hmm. So whatever you're comfortable with, you know, as long as you just just think about tone. You know, mm -hmm. I never knew how to pull tone. That's why I edge my pick, you know, reverse. Yeah, we're we'll talking so about that. Just a, thick, yeah. So I'm, I'm typically playing with the front edge of my pick. Yeah. And a lot of guys do. And uh -huh. I noticed that you have yours turned backwards. You, you flex that thumb joint. Yes, sir. And... Turn your pick. Yeah. Uh, invert your pick. Yeah. Because so. you're wanting more of that buttery. Yeah. Yeah. You want those notes instead of sounding brash to sound more round. Yeah. Now, whenever you're in a driving situation, uh -huh. <clears throat> then I'll turn it flat. Will you really? Yeah. Okay. So you, you control your tone by the angle of your pick yes, depending sir. on the situation. Yes, sir. So uh, maybe start out with that backwards pick sound. Okay. And then uh, transition into the flat pick sound. Okay. Sure. We'll do that. switching your pick angle. Is it the volume of the lead instrument? Uh, the volume of the lead instrument or uh, intros and out. Okay. Outros. That's where, or speed. Speed has a lot to do with it. If you're playing something just wide open. 